Hello all, we're back. I've done my inventory mm -hmm. sorting mm -hmm. crap. And I am truly a lucky man to be in your company and on your good side, and despite your incredible good looks and pleasant countenance. You're a terrifying leader in combat. I'm amazed most of our enemies even bother getting up in the morning anymore. So anyway, we're off to talk to Sir Charles the artist. I haven't rested yet because I need to talk to some people in the daytime. So. Oh, to the government district. Eh. Whoosh. We gotta go down to the estate by Anaman's father's place. I think it's called Justev. I like the rewards for this quest, but Sir Charles is such a pretentious douchebag. If you breathe in and out again, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna slap you. Okay. Lucky man. He does that flirt a lot where he's, he inhales and expands his chest and lets out a breath. And it's like... Okay. <laughs> I get it. Okay. <coughs> I'm going inside. Oh god, the butler. Something stranger. Okay. What Send Rose in by herself. Want? Because it's just chit chatty. Not that she can't handle herself, but oh god. Ugh. Who is it? Might I ask why you have disturbed my meditation? I'm not stomping. Go for the money. 
What I really need is to work in the medium of my choice. Pure Illithium. Back to my holiday. <laughs> If you say I take satisfaction in knowing that he's not going to get this pure lithium. Ever. Cause I'm going to keep it because he's being a prick. I'd keep the lithium anyway. Nobles chilling on the bridge. Big map is big. So to the promenade. like we're flying. Where did you put us? Down at the bottom of the map. Oh. Speaking of which. Eh. We're playing past the ring of regeneration around because too lazy to use healing spells. Dragon's tail. Oh, this is where we want to be. Of Magic course. teleport away. There's the ore merchant. Greetings, good customer. A pearl to you. So you can find out where she gets her lithium from, and then you can deal with the source, or you can get her to make a cheap replacement. Um, you can go back, but it, it's easier to talk, to go through the chat if you ask her about her source first, and then ask about the replacement. Because sometimes if you ask for the replacement first, you can screw it up <coughs> in the chat choices to find out her source. So, we'll ask about the source first. Give her her bribe. I'm not sure if the 500 would work, but... Find out where he is. There we go, the copper cornet. Okay, now. Let's try that substitute. I've already bribed you for a thousand, so two hundred is pretty cheap. So we have to wait for her tomorrow. And now we are going to go. Let's see if they can find their way there. <coughs> I always forget you can go out that way. Now we're going to go to the slums, everybody's favorite place, to cut the corner and talk to, uh, uh, Underguard? Unger. Unger Hildark. Oh. There we 
work out. Fast, fast, fast. fast. Pass it to Minsk. God, that's so cheap and cheesy, isn't it? Go inside. And there's Unger Hildark. You've always wondered who he was. You can only get this conversation after you've talked with the, the ore merchant. <laughs> Stolen. Neb. If you played the first game, that's Neb the Child Killer that was in the Flaming Fist headquarters. He had that stupid frickin' riddle for you. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> eh. I'm just too lazy to mute my mic. I just keep thinking if I mute it, I'll forget to unmute it. I'll spend the next half an hour chatting. To the bridge. Whoosh. Greetings, citizens. I trust you'll be keeping your weapons at your sides. simply don't have the manpower to protect everyone. I know why you'd prey on the poor, because nobody looks for the poor. It's just like why they prey on them in real life. Okay. Now that we've yeah. started the Bridge killing quest. We'll deal with that later. Poor we'll exposition. Words, sure enough. They're talking about the dead people. You can't see me pointing at the screen, but the dead guys, these guys, were shadow thieves that were in uh, the pub. And now they're dead, so the commoners are talking about the uh, guild wars between the shadow thieves and the new guild. Vampires! So, oh, but Neb is the child killer from Baldur's Gate. He was locked up in the Flaming Fist headquarters Apple? when you got arrested Apple? by Apple? Angelo. Apple? If my memory's right, it's been a long time since I've played and I haven't watched any playthroughs on it for a few months. But you get locked up in the Flaming Fist headquarters and one way out is to answer a riddle by Neb of how many children he killed. I think I it's have 30. I understand a few things of your past, and I have a question, if I might be permitted to pose it. I think it's Rob Paulson that does Animan's voice. God, yes. All right. I know what you're going to ask. 
gone. Have I always been this gorgeous? Yes, I have been. Uh, this is usually what I say. No, I don't consider him any relative of mine. Can we have these talks in the middle of the streets? That's what I always like. And now he's, this gets into Anaman's uh, predilection. That's not the right word. His troubles with himself is because, I mean, he gets angry and, you know, which is normal to feel angry, but he thinks that uh, someone of the order shouldn't feel angry. They should always, you know, be just and all that. And they don't, you know, he thinks anger is a bad emotion to feel. And because uh, I'm a ball spawn and I'm born of chaos and from an evil god, that I have to deal with these issues, which, you know, I do because all the ball spawn are fighting the blood, the call of ball wanting to come back, so. Anaman's just like, oh, you know what I mean, da, 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 you know, and no matter what you say, you kind of get in a little scoot about it. Let's see, yeah, you know, I always try and do the right thing, regardless of any influence of blood, which is, you know, I do that in real life anyway. Not that I'm, you know, the daughter of a dead evil god. Because if I was, I certainly wouldn't be doing Let's Plays on YouTube. Okay, that's better. <laughs> okay, just some exposition. So we're going to go deal with Neb, if you've never... Where the phone's on? I keep thinking that guy is saying, where's the phone call? I know we can't be saying that because there's no right, phones in, uh -huh. what is it, 1369, the year? Okay, oh god. Can, can we go around this way? There's a cutscene up there that I really don't want to deal with at the moment. <laughs> so we'll go up this way. Yep, okay. This is Craig Moon. She has some good spells on her. Let's Hello check it there. out and see if we can get it. Let's take a look at your potions. Visibility. Always a good one to have. Potion case, okay. For some reason I thought she had spells. I must there must be a thief uh, merchant that shows up around this house. I am ready. And I'm thinking think he's the one that has I can dance on the head of a bin as well. Uh spell scrolls. He has like improved haste and uh, improved invisibility and I think he's got spell scrolls. Okay, so this is the house. We've unlocked it. We're gonna save. There's not much preparation you can do before going in because uh, Neb is going to summon the spirits of children he's killed and then he'll go invisible and hide. Don't kill the children because you'll lose reputation points. So turn off your AI and because he goes invisible, we will. He doesn't have true sight. She does. Pretty sure she does. So cast True Sight, don't attack the children, when you find Neb, CEO. attack him. Alright, we're good, we'll go in. You, 
You wouldn't hurt a gnome, would you? Now, Boo remembers a lot of shit. So, go You'll after never see it. Yeah, <laughs> Ignore the children. Just ask. Not Neb is back here. Okay. What happened is <clears throat> Neb summoned five child spirits and they attacked the party. Now, if you kill the child spirits, you'll lose reputation for each one. So you gotta kill Neb first. If you have true sight, you can see him. He can't be invisible. Now, the child spirits will attack you and they will level drain you. When you kill Neb and he dies, the spirits will be released and you get some experience for them and then the whole party is restored but you're tired so get ready to hear people bitching so hmm. and children drop treasure off very well they drop a uh, pearl I think There's five. Okay. Fleet of foot and all that. Hmm. That's metal containers. I have stamina and patience, hmm. but both are wearing thin. It's time to rest. Uh, I have just about had it. Let's put up our feet and rest a while. I demand that we stop. The day was not this long, even when I led soldiers in the Order. I must have rest soon, my friend. I have no wish to be weary when my skills call for careful concentration. Okay. We must rest soon. Boo is getting squirrely. <laughs> oh, no. Whatever you want. This trap. I don't think it can be disarmed. I'll try. It's a... Uh, Yoshimo is willing. A slime trap that that will hold you. Okay, he was able to do that. We'll still have Rose open it. If you say so. Okay, it can be disarmed, but uh, if you don't disarm it and you set it off, you get hit like uh, you can't do this on television. You <laughs> when you get slimed, and then you're paralyzed, and it takes away like half your hit points. So. Have someone with a lot of hit points go in. If you use someone like Jan, be very careful because he's low on hit points. So, we got that done. Switch her back to ranged. And we will have Valigar do this. Brought this through. Because he has the lithium. And it's freaking heavy. There's Neb's head. I'd like to know who that is. Who the sprite is. Grab the potions. There's the lithium money. That's Neb's nasty kata. AI on. Of course. If that's and now we'll go do this cutscene just because it's quick. And now we just gotta wait you for the... Never have her, you ridiculous fool! No. Be familiar. It is you that she'll never have her. She loves me. Apparently, Carbos and Shank got resurrected. Who rezzed them? No. She loves me. Boys, boys, don't fight over me, please. Hey. 
It's like Macintosh in the uh, cartoons on from Warner Brothers. The two little uh, chipmunks. The day was not this long, even when I led soldiers in the order. I must have rested soon. So you can't save while they're fighting. My skills call for careful We're going to uh, we five flagons soon. to uh, chill. Who is getting squirrely? And we just gotta wait for. Tomorrow. So we'll go in here and have a relax. <sighs> and we'll give this back to Valley Gar since we're going to relax. Those, but see, whose head is that? Who, what developer is that? That's what I want to know. But there's the Alithia Moor. It's two hundred pounds. Neb's nasty cut off. I usually just sell it. Okay, so we'll save because we did very well. We've all done very well. And because we haven't done it for a while, we will see about flirting with Anamon. Oh, what should we do? I think he needs a little encouragement. Anyway. Hello, me good smiling friends. I'll have a big rest. There's that gerbil. I don't suppose you and I could simply grab a good book and lock ourselves up in a cabin for a day or two and just let everything blow over, could we? I really like to. Anaman, I was sharing a harmless fantasy. You were definitely not a part of it when I started, and I definitely want to keep you out of it. <laughs> Sleeping arrangements aren't really uh, fixed here, but uh, oh, I haven't even thought about how their sleeping arrangements are, because putting all the guys in one room and Rose in another seems awkward, and she doesn't have any problem with bunking down with other people. So it's probably Rose and Minsk, if we're splitting up in three rooms. Rose and Minsk, then Anamin and Valigar, then Yoshimo and uh, Kelsey. Then again, we could do two rooms, which would be Kelsey, Minsk, Rose, then Anamin, Valigar, and Yoshimo. That sounds better.
Yes, we rested. Okay. Ah, it's all getting heavy. There's gonna be boy conflict soon. So we'll leave town. We're going to go to the government district and drop off Neb's head. If you've done that quest and you're wondering, what am I doing with the head? Why why do I need the head? Apples! Apples won't cover! Apples! You take it to the council building in the government district, and there's a dude way in the back in an arch called the Sergeant Brega. And he'll take the head off your hands as a bounty. And you'll collect reward and reputation point. Huzzah! What would you like? And... Don't talk to Sir Sarles if you have the Illithium in your inventory. Because he will just take it! And you won't be able to use it. Because it's part of an upgrade for the Mace of Disruption 2. And Tell me you can't get it until you start Chapter 3 because the Mace of Disruption is in the Vampire Lair. So there's Chief Inspector Brega. Is there something that you need, citizen? There's the head. We lost the head. Got a bit of money and a rep increase if you care. I think that brings uh, us up to we seventeen. Are all heroes. Let's check. You and Boo and I, hamsters and rangers everywhere. Oh, Rejoice! Get such cheap prices. <coughs> do do do. Walking past Tolgarius, he doesn't even notice. Hurry, everybody, run! Adamant, what the hell were you doing back there? I wonder about these people. So, there's a little I'm left to do for this quest, except wait this until tomorrow for the we ore merchant. Really be proud of what we're doing. So, we're going to head to the promenade and uh, relax alls at the Mithrest, I think. Or the Seven Veils. God, I'm so lazy. Lazy, 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 lazy. Go up here. That one or that one? Very well. Ooh, there. Oh! Before I forget, and it gets all over yes. the place, I picked up a block of honeycomb the last time we were through town. You want a bite? Come on, help me finish it. It's almost gone. Oh, I like this because I really like honey. No, there isn't. Okay. I'm on the job. I do like honey and honeycomb, so let me check the map real quick. Yeah, okay, that's the one we want. We want what the seven veils. So, ah. Anyway, I'm going to stop for now and. Uh, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do, if I'm going to just rest at the inn until the next day and finish up the quest in the next video, or see if we can cause some trouble. 
I don't know if we did uh, the top floor of the Seven Veils, so I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.